Hello, my sewing friends. This is a belated Friday Sews catch-up. I'm Jen and this is my sewing room. And yeah, I'm catching up, I'm playing catch-up. Uh, I had company this weekend, my sister came and got busy and yeah, <laughs> sometimes life just intervenes. Uh, along with my sister coming, I had to spend the bulk of last week uh, doing some DIY projects. So I would have my house perfect because when I have company, I always have to remodel and redecorate my house. I don't know why. That doesn't usually end up happening, but you know, at least things get really clean, <laughs> which is nice. So let's talk about the sewing. I only did two bowl cozies for my sister. I wanted to have something Christmas-ish kind of for her when she got here. So two bowl cozies for her, those went really quick. I did them during my Zoom call with my sewing sisters, which I do every week. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. I do need to make a couple more of those just for us. I do have one that's Christmas themed, but I wanna put that away and then just use a couple more because my husband said, those are so handy and they really are, which is probably why so many people this uh, holiday season made them. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's it on the sewing and you pretty much are caught up with life. But let me um, get into this week's question because I think it's an important one. And that is, did you achieve your sewing goals in 2022? Good question. I did. Uh, two out of three. I only had three things that I was aiming for and I really do think I achieved them. Uh, one of them was to sew for others. And I think I achieved that somewhat. I don't think I got to the 40% of what I sew was for others. I don't think I got quite that far, but I did a substantial amount of sewing for others. Actually, this is one thing I made. Uh, I made it for my daughter uh, in the Sew Purple for ALZ Challenge, which Michelle at Michelle Sews Again, she uh, sponsored that. And I did this, uh, Michelle, this is fabric that Michelle ice dyed. And I made it for my daughter, but she said, nah, you go ahead. So I'm going to alter it. It doesn't really fit me. It's a little big on me. So I'm going to alter it and I'm going to keep it. It is Simplicity 8640. Of course, that's my favorite pattern of all time. So back to sewing for others. Um, I did a lot. I really did. I counted up my makes for 2022 and I had 34, but I know I sewed more than that, a lot more than that. So yeah, I achieved that goal. I'm gonna call that a win. Second uh, goal that I had for 2022 was to make more crafts, more non-clothing things. And I kind of, I don't know, I think I kind of failed on that one. I made a caddy that was designed by Andra from Andra Makes and can be found in Quilts and More magazine for spring of 2021. Uh, I also, multiple bowl cozies. Um, and that was really about all the non-garment sewing that I got done. I just, I don't know, I focus in on garment sewing. I love making garments uh, and not only just garments, but a step above, you know, the basic t-shirt and joggers. So I'm not, I'm not calling that one a win, even though I did some, but I don't know, maybe I should call it a win. It's kind of a toss up. Let's do it. Let's call it that. And then the other one that I do think is a win is that I wanted to inspire you with tutorials that I recommended to you that other people had done. And I feel like I did. I feel like in a, you know, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of videos, I direct you to other people. I, I find myself having gone like this, it's in the cards uh, a lot. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like, yeah, I did. I did accomplish that. So let's talk about goals for 2023. And I hope that you're thinking about your goals, which I hope you let me know at least one, if not more, in the comment section. And uh, okay, for me, 
Number one is do more tutorials. There are things that I am learning and I would love to pass those on to you and even sew alongs. Um, there is a top I have laying over there that's ready to be filmed and I just, <laughs> I have not had the wherewithal to do it, honestly. Um, I've just been gone a lot and had a lot going on in my family. So I wanna do that. I want to focus on quality more than quantity when it comes to fabric and even thrifted textiles, sheets, shower curtains, um, bedding in general, like pillowcases and, you know, um, tablecloths, um, you know, all the sorts of things that I have gone and gotten, um, even remnant pieces of fabric. Uh, I don't want to focus on that so much. I want to sew my stash but I also want to focus more in on quality fabric that I get from any number of places. Yeah, I, I have quality fabric and I, I notice the difference when I sew with it. So, yeah. Uh, and third, and this is kind of some things all wrapped in, um, I want to do more Instagram challenges. I want to continue to evaluate my workspace and improve it as um, as I sew, as I find that this is going to work better for me if I just shift that around or I store this in that way or I use this that I was using for something else and let's, you know, redesign that, uh, reallocate things. This is a pretty small space, to be honest. Um, I would love to have a smaller table, <laughs> even though I love this table. Having well, I don't wish I had a smaller one. What I wish is that I had more space for this one, but I only have about two, two and a half feet of space between the ends of this table and the walls here where I have bookcases and storage. And then I have maybe three feet between my sewing table and, and the table and then uh, the ironing station and the table. So. You know, I could shift it around, see if I like it any better. I don't think I would because having this space right here to move when I'm around my sewing machines, it's it's kind of important. So yeah, just kind of continuously reevaluating that and seeing what works. Can I do without that? Can I do that better? That sort of thing. That's pretty much it. Those are my goals that I want to aim for in 2023. I don't do resolutions. I don't do, you know, a list of like a make nine. Mm -mm, that limits me too much. I am a mood sewer and I do like to aim for projects that I want to get done, but I don't like to be confined to a schedule. I am very much of an out of box person. So, uh, yeah, I don't do goals for, you know, a list of goals, but these are things that are important to me and that I want to find myself focusing in on, especially with the success I had with my goals from last year. So one last thing I want to tell you, and that is that Chris Lowe sent me a box of some wonderful stuff, mostly patterns. And I won't go through those because they're kid pajama patterns and um, men's pajama patterns and things like that. But I do want to show you a couple of pieces of fabric she threw in, which were a complete surprise. And um, she contacted me through Instagram. And you can also contact me on Facebook Messenger if you ever want to get a hold of me. Uh, those links are down in the description box. So if you want to know, you know where to find me, you can do it that way. This fabric, she said she bought this in the 1970s to make something for her son. It says touchdown and it's stripes. And this is um, a knit that was uh, done in the round, like knits often were back in um, the 1970s. There is a, you can tell there is a kind of a blanket stitch going down, um, connecting the two sides, but it's, it's a tube. <laughs> so, I just think this is wonderful. And uh, yeah, this will um, certainly accommodate any kind of things that I wanna make for my new grandson in the future as he gets a little bigger and <laughs> I can make that make sense. 
Also, I'm a huge NFL football fan, and so, you know, that's going to have significance for Grandma, if nothing else. And the other piece of fabric I got was uh, this. She made a, something for her daughter out of this, and it just says sailor. And it's that same kind of knit, and it's just a little piece. But, you know, it's uh, enough of a piece that, you know, I could do something with this. And I just really appreciated her generosity in sending this to me. These are the kind of thing that, you know, they've been in her sewing room, and now she's passed them along to me. And I just feel really honored that she would entrust me with these because these have a lot of sentimental value for her. So thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. That's going to do it for the Friday Sews Catch Up. As always, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm really grateful for all of you. And I hope your new year has started well. If you would like to see a playlist of all my Friday Sews, you can check right over here. I will see you next time hopefully on Friday, and I will leave you with my favorite scripture from Micah. Do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Something I want to do this year. Hope you do too.